Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. Nick? There is an incoming, like, brigade of soldiers. There, this, sol this band of soldiers has a three-day head start on you. What do you do to try and rectify and try and catch up to them so that you can prevent a tragedy from happening? They're coming for me? No, they're going, they're, they're, like, the... You were chasing these guys down, and now you realize, oh my god, they have a three-day head start getting to, like, the village that I'm supposed oh, to protect. Oh, right. Yeah. I was trying to remember what the situation was at the end of the last episode. Yeah, basically... I was about to be like, I get in a cardboard box. <laughs> like, <laughs> in a cardboard box and just be like... Yeah. Just I'm wait for here. them to go past. <laughs> I am not here. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I really don't know. I'm going to be trying to give a phone call to somebody to give them a heads up, probably, because I know I can't catch those guys, probably. Yeah, probably just be like... Doop, 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 doop. Brr, brr. Hey, man. Yeah? Uh, you need to get the hell out of there. You need to get the fuck up out of there. It's like, what do you mean? There's a whole brigade of soldiers on their way to you right now. How many? About 3,000. Too many. Like, we only got like 500 people in this whole town. I know, right? That's why so, you need to leave. That's why y'all need to get the hell up out of there. <laughs> but how long do we have? I don't know. Just do it quickly. Just go now, because they have a three-day head start on me, and I will not be there to save you. Here's the good news, though. Eins can teleport. That's the truth. Eins, Mr. Algun himself, basically has the ability to just, like, open a gate and be like, all right, I want to go here. All of a sudden, he's there. That's it. Game over. I well, don't know if there's any limitations on where he can teleport. Well, maybe it's like he has to know where he's going. Yeah, if that's it's like one a fast travel type thing. Like he's has to yes. have already been there before. Yes, honestly, I don't know. There's several. There's several things that they could do to rectify and make it to where Eins can go there. I, I mean, mean, they could also fly, probably, possibly. So. Eins probably could fly there really quick like if you wanted to. Everyone there who is able to fly can probably start flying that way. But the only way we're going to find out what's going to happen oh, is by the watching... the problem with this, though. Oh, Jesus. Why is that Why is that full screen? I know what I did. Remember when I was trying to hit Control-F to, like, find... Uh, I hit Control-F on here, and I had that selected. Hold on, watch. Control-F. There you go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> there you go. So, there you go. Figured it out. Anywho... Here we go. I would say so. I was gonna say, close the door. Oh. oh, there's still soldiers up there. Oh, I, I would say, like, close the door, you guys. Well, I mean, yeah. Oh yeah, the soldiers out there are already dead. Yeah, they closed it. Yeah, could they dig around it? Yeah, could they dig around it? I think we can all take a wild guess as to who the hell that is. Mm -hmm. It's Gilbert Godfrey. I'm joking. It's Gilbert Godfrey. This is true. Well, at this point. Huh. Okay. Sometimes you just gotta make an executive decision. It's a red one. It's a red one. Oh, yeah, dead knights. You don't fuck up. Dwarf that's no hunger, get this Woo! Damn. 
They were like, yeah, their fur is like armor, no matter to the death knights. Yeah, you may want to run. Run like little bitches. That's right. You can't destroy it. Oh, they did it. <laughs> he tried to take him out before he fell. A giant amethyst behind him is gorgeous. I have seen the Death Knight of Death Knight. If it is a person who is a person, it is a person who is a person. I'd say eliminated by the skin of their teeth. Is that funny than a player? No. no. Somebody just pulled a decent tactical move. And, uh, and that's the thing. I applaud them for the tactical move. シャルティアを洗脳した奴らが。ええ。お待たせいたしました。ああ。私こそが魔道国を。Where once again, this guy is jumping to conclusions without actually hearing out the full extent of the plan. It'd be hard to trust a big, scary skeleton guy. It's true. Jitsu我が国に独占させる。これが帰国の王党を奪還する大家として我々が欲しているものだ。そうですね。明日まで現在我々はクワゴアに攻められているのだぞ。申し訳ないですが、先ほどの待合室でお待ちいただけますか。
私にコソドロの片棒を担げと。と思っている国に技術書があっても意味がないではないか。Mm-hmm. That's right. たまたま宝物庫に行ったタイミングで、私は盲目となりそうな気がする。立<笑>たないな、マスフライ。おお力を持ちながらわざわざ橋を落とす必要はないはずだこれから非常に危険な地に突入する。体質の襲撃部隊を送り込むなどして。何か気になるものでもあったかな。言うなれば能力を一つ一つチェックして、飛ぶする可能性を踏まえ、周囲を警戒して進め。Uh, what do you want to bet that's going to come back into play? Because I, I literally. Like... I think she was sniffing the ground, so she was probably able to figure out that there wasn't anyone very strong there recently. Yeah. Oh. 恐ろしい魔獣のいる灼熱の海なんじゃが、oh. さあ最後の難所は死の迷宮じゃぞえっとはどこに耐性がありんすえお前たちは魔法で防御しておくか、oh. 最適ルートで攻略できるなんとあああああああああああああああああああああああ Back during the first, like, first time that they were all traveling together. Didn't really remember that myself. And she never did. She never did because she passed away.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, there we go. That's. It's a pretty good episode overall. Yeah. Yeah. Good pacing.、Mm-hmm. And they also. did a good job with the dialogue and stuff in it this time. Yes. And also laying lures for, like, potential future. Story beats,、uh, you know, like the dwarven runesmiths basically being enamored by what was possible and also giving them the like the drive and the will to like follow through with it instead of just being like, oh man, even like our dwarven king, you know, his was only had six. How can this one have 20? That's gonna be impossible. No, instead, they're just like, if this actually exists, that means it is possible. possible. <laughs> so, therefore, I will rise to the challenge. Hell, I bet you I can do more than 20 runes if I knew, if I knew the secret to it. And I, gar- I guarantee you that's what they're going to do. They're going to figure out 24 or 25 or however many runes. They're going to end up coming out and be like, sets down a jar. And it's just like, runes, 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 runes. I like to call this one. The fat man. <laughs> like, what do you want me to do with it? Oh. Put it somewhere you don't like and want to disappear, and then kick it, and then run really fast. <laughs> yes.、Uh, or, Eins, in your case, what you do is you fly up really high up in the air and just drop it on somewhere and you don't you want find, to be. <laughs> you find the place that you don't want to exist anymore, and then you just let it go. And, there, and that's it. Pretty soon, the thing is. Oh, that if you have anyone you just... that's not you, do this. Tell them not to look at it when it goes off. Exactly. <laughs> don't, look at the, don't look at the flash.、Uh, at least if you have anyone with eyeballs. That's true. Do this, tell them not to look at it. I was going to say, s h o u t e r will look at it and she'll just be like, she'll just be like, Ow! My eyes! I wonder、uh, if the nuclear respawn, explosion's respawn. brightness would be enough to hurt a vampire. Well. I wonder about that. Well, I mean, that's the thing. If the it, sun hurts, if it emits them, enough UV rays, if it emits enough UV light, it can potentially. Ultraviolet, because they're saying like the light of the sun that hurts vampires is the ultraviolet light that reacts horribly with their skin, which is not able to absorb ultraviolet light and instead burns it.、Uh, that's, that's what. So they, they, they potentially could. Exude enough ultraviolet light to where they could do that. I don't know. I really don't know. But anyway, everybody, I think that is going to do it for this. This、uh, thing you're froze on on the screen right now. This is like a good shot of like him having just dropped it on the city below. <laughs> yeah. And he's just like, he's like, hmm. 
That was very effective. <laughs> I wonder if they I wonder if they'll come up with another one, and then they'll it'll be a a vial. It'll be like one of those like like tubes like they like, like they they basically just like have it on there. It's like what do you call this one? Little boy. Like, <laughs> and he'll just be like, wait, fat man, little. Boy. Oh come on! I'm Japanese. He's like Japanese. What's that, sir? Never mind. Don't don't ask. Uh. Anyway, this was episode six, The Impending Crisis, and uh, yeah, I guess until next time, I'm Nate. I am Nick. Y'all be good people. Take care. Peace.